Hello everybody, we've got Josh Kreitler here. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, so uh, we're on his project. I won't say the name, just uh, just in case we need to keep that confidential, but boy, we have a really neat, you have a neat conference room here. So, you know, not too long. Uh, me, well, take as much time as you want, but can you give us a tour of your conference room and how you use it? Sure thing. Um, so, I guess we'll start over here. This is kind of where we uh, operate for our, our weekly foreman's meetings where we take our, our uh, we look ahead and, and take our weekly work plans and kind of plan out the work for the week, identify roadblocks, um, and then items that come up that we want to work through, we use a scrum process. So as we're doing that and we get what we call parking lot items that we want to solve but not uh, burden the whole team with, we uh, throw them into our backlog and, and coordinate when we want to do those, what we're doing when they're done. Uh, to make sure we're working through those with the team. Okay, well you're uh, about to see the masterpiece, Josh's <laughs> masterpiece. Now we drew on it today, so ignore the drawings because we were doing a little le training, but go ahead, boss. So this is our uh, TAC <coughs> plan for the entire job. This is the entire job on one single page, um, which is what we're pulling into the work plans we just looked at. Uh, this helps us plan the work uh, for all the trades and see everything. In, in one page to kind of poke holes in what we have going on. Uh, this workflow that you see is based on the area breakdowns that are right here. Boom, uh, baby, tax zone maps right there. <laughs> um, Where'd you get this format, by the way? This is pretty genius. So that's kind of a Frankenstein of a couple different uh, work plans that I've seen over the years uh, between other contractors, between um, presentations I've seen at LCI Congress. Okay. Um, I believe there's some elements of some weekly work plans that you have on your tax site. From uh, These look a lot like the O'Shea there's some, ones. There's some similarities. Yeah. There's okay. a couple other trade partners that uh, have had some, I've taken elements of and kind of made to fit for this okay. job. Uh, what we have back here is just a, a white space board where we do pull plans. Uh, a lot of that tax was developed off of Various pull plans, so the work sequencing came from pull plans. Some of the peripheral areas that are up on the upper part of that uh, were built using pull plans. Um, this is just a remaining one that we did, but we kind of memorialize those, take a picture, post them here, so that if anybody wants to go back and reference, hey, when we did that pull plan, what, what was it? What did we say? What did we land on? Um, Wonderful. Panning across the room, you got all our floor plans behind glass, so we can mark them up, talk to them make notes, talk about deliveries and issues and challenges and how we want to break things up. Uh, the last kind of corner here is uh, all of our access. We've got a site photo, we've got our um, tower cranes and their capacities, we've got a supplementary crane on site and its capacities. We have a number of leave outs to load the building with equipment so we've identified within the roof where those leave outs would be. Uh, for how long and then all of our major equipment and the paths we're bringing them in the building um, So a lot of these will require us to leave out pieces of the skin Or travel through other areas to get to them. So we've identified and called all those out early um, This room even smells nice. Do you have wallflowers in here? Or something? <laughs> so now nice room. We had a meeting in here So you've got the the chairs and the table real good feel nice lighting uh, audio visual internet Great job, appreciate you Josh. Hello everybody here, we got Josh again and uh, a lot of people have seen this uh, graphic but I'd like you to explain the impact that it's had and how you use it if that's okay. Yeah, so you may have seen this described or, or defined in a, the lean community as 5S but uh, our, our organization has embodied it, our safety group, and uh, translated it to uh, keep it safe, keep it, keep it clean, keep it safe initiative. Okay. And it kind of takes the 5S uh, focuses and translates some a little more safety focused um, and that's one of the things that we, we push on our jobs and we implement uh, to keep our jobs safer. So this actually gets down to the specifics so if somebody said what are we doing when we do the 5S this is translating, translating it to construction. Where else are these posted? How do, how do the workers interface with this? So these are posted on the job site on and various uh, stand-up uh, job built boards. Um, we've got them um, in the job trailers for some of the trade partners and our own McCarthy, um, our own contractors, um, and then throughout our office. You'll never guess, we've got Josh again over <laughs> here. <laughs> this was a jamming idea. 
Um, I need to know every part of this, my brother. Let's do this. All right, so uh, we looked at our tax plan. One of the challenges we've got on the job is the amount of folks that we'll have on an 11-story building at a given time, especially at our peak manpower. One of the challenges we were facing is uh, buck hoist access and what it's going to take to get those people where they need to be. We took a slice of that tax plan, uh, took a cut through the building, and identified at the, at the peak manpower and put what activities were happening on what floor in that week snapshot in time so we could show at who we've got to get where uh, at the busiest time of the job. And it's pretty eye-opening, uh, helps us really understand what the challenges will be then. And you're able to identify hoist capacity, compare that with COVID-19 requirements, show the owner, justify the cost, know when it has to come down. So that's a great visual. And I love that you said tact and you know where everyone's gonna be. Awesome, thanks Josh. All right, everybody, we're here with Josh again. We got a jam in office. And one thing that you know I always talk about is team balance and health and intentional coverage. And I saw this and I literally started drooling. Josh, can you lace this with some game here? Absolutely, so um, we've got a monthly calendar uh, that we keep two months ahead where we uh, spread the workload of the late nights and the weekend work, uh, make sure we give everybody notice and we spread that, spread that burden. Um, but we also are tracking, uh, anytime you got a late night, you're the, you are the safety walk for the day. So you'll grab the contractor that's identified that day. There's a specific topic we talk about. We get you to walk through with that contractor, identify any issues. Uh, we talk about it in our afternoon uh, pod meetings and then we go in and resolve our challenges the next day. So this is a good way to make sure we're, we're sharing the burden of uh, the hours on the job and giving it to people with enough time to plan around so they can plan their life outside of work. Love it, thank you. All right, we're about to talk to our brother Josh over here. Boom, there we go. All right, show us this really cool scrum madness over here. So uh, we've got a few construction teams, uh, our, our larger construction teams broken into some smaller focus groups, uh, interior groups, enclosure groups, structure group, MEP group. This is an example of our interior team and how we manage the work within that team. Uh, we use a scrum process. We meet on a regular basis. We, we sprint every week and identify what we're gonna pull from our backlog to our focus for the week. Um, we identify what we're, what we're our priority focus and what we're doing, um, and we move everything across. The idea is move our sprint to our done column that week. Uh, we check in on a regular basis to make sure we're, we're leveled with the workload and that we're getting things answered and we're helping out each other where we need to. I love it. Why is your doing column so narrow? You should only be doing one thing at a time. <laughs> Multitasking isn't real. I love it. Limit work and process, right? And you have the assignments over here by name. So if you've ever heard on my books, uh, anybody that might be listening to this or watching this uh, little YouTube clip, I highly recommend that team huddle that clears the work, clears roadblocks, makes work ready for the field. And I love, love, love the idea of doing that in a scrum sprint with the team. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Josh. Sure thing.